Ohai. Al-Karak, the city located in the west of Jordan, and which is the administrative center and the largest settlement of the governorate of Al-Karak of the same name. Being located on the trade way of Tsaos, in 140 came to the south from Amon, Al-Karak, once was a part of the Jerusalem kingdom. The city developed around the fortress of Crusaders towering at the height about 1000 meters above sea level with which it is possible to see the Dead Sea without effort. There are various versions of pronunciation and writing of the name of the city in Russian among which the most often meeting. al karak 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 al karak The city is in the west of Jordan, in some distance from the Dead Sea and the Israeli border. The city was placed in landscape area which from the north al Machib's Wadi, from the south of the Wadi of al Haz, and from the west limits the Dead Sea. This area represents rather cross-country terrain which is cut up by dry valleys. Soils brown and grey-brown, characteristic of shrubby steppes. One of names of this landscape area are El Karak settled down on the plateau of triangular shape which towers more than on 300-400 m over the surrounding territory. The plateau has natural origin and is a part of the wadi of the same name or the dry valley. The Arab Wadis Valley. The city lies in the southern part of the plateau which form is narrowed to the south. Thus, from three parties the city is surrounded by steep slopes of the wadi. El Parak's climate typical Mediterranean, the most part of rainfall falls on the winter period. The climate is droughty. Rainfall drops out a little, about 200-300 mm a year. As the city is at the height about 1000 m above sea level, winters rather cool and windy, occasionally there is snow. Average temperature in January, about 10 C, in July, minus 28. Economical Geographical Location To the south from El Parak there are two small towns. Is Sophia specializing in chemical production? First of all, potash fertilizers. And that tefila where cement is produced. To the east from the city there are important transport hubs of Jordan, and the main industrial zone of the country, Amman and Azarka is located to the north. 140, 160 came. An important element in an economical geographical location of Al Karak is its proximity to Israel through which seaports export and import of products to the city is made. Al Karak is in a zone of the irrigated agriculture. Once Al Karak settled down on the so called Viaduct Regia, from Latin, the Royal Road which was an important trade way of the Middle East originating in Syria and which ended in Egypt. Now the city is located to the west from the trunk automobile main of the country, Pastanor Highway, which was stretched over the country from the north on the south and united all large settlements in the uniform transport system. In the same place and in the same direction also the railroad of Jordan was stretched. El Karak's communication with the main transport arteries of the country is carried out by means of network of smaller highways. Through the following transport hubs. El Katrana Amman, Jerfeyard Arabish and Amman. Buses from El Karak regularly go to Amman, Etafilu, Amman, Aqaba. El Karak is also connected by network of roads with the only port of the country, Aqaba, through which the most part of trade operations is carried out. Besides Aqaba, El Karak uses the Israeli ports for transportation of the products.
Advantages of a transport geographical location of Al Karakur that he is located on a tourist route among Al Karak, the expert Shuba. It is Krakti Montreal. Petra Hakoba, which unites together all main tourist objects of Jordan in a uniform complex. Thus, tourists who go from Amman to Petra often stop in Al Karak. Modern Al Karak's territory was populated in the Iron Age, about 2400, and inhabited her tribes. According to the Bible, the Movaten happened at incest. Incest. Loaded to the daughters who gave to drink and before wine. Soon both daughters gave rise on the son Moab. From someone occurred to the Movatena and Binami, respectively, the primogenitor. To both the Movatena and the Amanatena were enemies of Jews. In 850, the great Tsar Mesha united separate tribes in so called the Kingdom Moab, where also the modern Al Karak called in those days Cyrus Moab entered. Literally, the capital of Mobate. And performing mainly agricultural functions. The capital of the kingdom was the city of Tibbon, which lost the capital function subsequently, having transferred them to ancient Al Karak. Advantage Cyrus Moab was given that he settled down on the main caravan track connecting Egypt with Syria. In the 9th century BB Al Karak is mentioned also in the Bible under names Cyrus, Kirkher, Kirkhershet, and Cyrus Hears. The Bible tells about how the Tsar of the Israeli kingdom and its allies from Judah and Adam. Destroyed and also besieged the Tsar Mesh in his fortress of Kirk Hare. Further, Al Karak becomes dependent on Assyria, which governor then was Tiglat Palliser Tiglath Pileser, banishing here captives from Damascus conquered by him. Just in the period of his board, the policy of destruction of the one people which is carried out by the previous governors of Assyria was replaced with policy of their Massachusetts resettlement from some areas in others. Further, Al Karak becomes an important part of the Nabataste kingdom. During the entire period of blossoming of ancient Greece and since gaining Alexander of Macedon, Al Karak didn't lose the important strategic functions and it was known under a name of Hark. In 105. On other sources in 205. Year at Kirk Hare was won by Romans who renamed him into Karak Moba, the fortress protecting the kingdom Moab. In 295 at the Roman Empire owning then Palestine. Eretz Israel. Divided her into three parts. Palestine Prima. Where Judea and Samaria, with the capital in Caesarea entered. Palestine Secunda. With the capital in Skitopola. Beit Sheen. The area of Upper Jordan and the Genesaretsky Lake. Palestine the Third. Including to Idumi and Moab with the capital in Piat. Just as a part of the Third, there was also the Nel Karak. In the 4th century, Ad Al Karak departed to Byzantium. At the time of the Byzantine Empire, he was the diocese. Archaeological excavations in Al Karak didn't give any finds which could demonstrate features of architecture of that time. Traces of the Byzantine period in Al Karak were found only on excavation in the Greek Church of St. George. It is possible to judge Al Karak's features of this time by means of the analysis of two mosaic cards located in churches of Jordan. In the city of Madaba, 
dated the 6th century, and in the city mined Alrasis, created approximately in 718. On both cards modern al -Karak. On the card he is designated as Karak Moba. Is represented as the city surrounded with a defensive wall. The fortress was constructed by crusaders only in the 12th century. In the southern part the gate protected by two towers are distinctly traced. In the left part a small church with a red roof is located. On the picture, from the south on the north three rows of streets were stretched, central of which conducts to big church, most likely, being the cathedral. The big church can correspond to modern church de Amy Alumer. Whereas the small church has two options of compliance. Or it is street. George's church. Or al -Kadir's. Al Qadir Church. Such abundance of churches also gave to historians a reason to believe that Al Karak during the Byzantine period was the diocese. 629 The first authentically known opposition of Muslims and the Byzantine Empire is dated. And in 636, Al Karak is for the first time one Muslims and local Christians began to live according to laws of Sharia. The beginning of formation of al Karakas unapproachable fortress, it was the share of the 12th century when in the Middle East Crusaders appeared. Construction of Fortress of Crusaders began in 1142 under control of P. and D. Milly, another transcription pagan or paganess, the senior of Transjordan or Earth, who was at the same time beyond Old Rejordan and the butler of the King Vult V. Aresilins, the better known as Vult Monado. Crusaders called this fort Krakmovsky or Krakdimoab. That in translation means, Fortress in Earth Moab. Construction occupied her about 20 years and it ended in 1161. Then al Karak becomes the capital and the residence of the King of Transhordon. Urzaordania. Having adopted capital functions at the weakened fortress of Krak de Montreal built in 1115-1116 in Idemy. A little to the south of Alcaric. By order of the King Balduin I. Alcaric had considerable strategic advantages. Settling down to the east from the Jordan River as from his positions it was possible to control actions of the wandering shepherds Bedouins and to watch tradeways from Damascus and Cairo and also had routes to Mecca. A and D Millie's successes, both his nephews Maurice. 1147 and Philip D. Milley 1161 The last was the seventh great master Templier F. Added towers and protective constructions on the northern and southern parties, having complemented them with two deep ditches. The southern ditch was filled with water and I served as the tank for her storage. Also Krak de Moab entered a chain of the surf strengthening stretch from the Egyptian border near the Gulf of Aqaba to Turkey. al Karak, as well as all other points in this chain of surf strengthenings, had to provide transmission of messages on all her extent by means of night use of an analogue of a heliograph or a Svetoperdachik. Thus, the message sent from point which is at the Gulf of Aqaba came to the fortress located slightly to the north. In turn this fortress transferred the same message to other point located also to the north from him. Already one message less than in 12 hours could reach from the Egyptian border Turkish or in the opposite direction.
At the beginning of the 1178 years of Krag de Moab it was succeeded to reflect several sieges successfully. In 1176 he passes under management of the notorious Reno de Chatelona which became famous for the reckless and barbaric tricks and differing in excessive cruelty. There are facts that Reno de Chatelon dumped from a fortification of Muslim captives on the heads to which wooden boxes and with shackles on a neck were dressed. They were dumped from height of 450 meters live and in full consciousness, and death came only with blow about the earth. Other form of manifestation of cruelty of Reno de Chatelona was the fact that it ordered to put captives in very close holes. For such barbaric behavior, historians nicknamed it the Franksky Bedouin. Vino di Chateleona was succeeded to receive management over Alcaric after a marriage on Stefana di Mili, Felipe di Milia's daughter, the widow of Anfroy III di Torona and the daughter-in-law Anfroy II. Having violated all earlier reached agreements, he began to plunder trade caravans and the pilgrims following to Mecca, attacked Monastery of Islam, Hijaz and attacked the Arab ports on the Red Sea, and even threatened a shrine of Muslims, Mecca. In particular in the fall of 1182 of Reno de Chatillon I organized impudency raid on vessels which were constructed and tested on the Dead Sea, and then assaulted and postponed for the coast of the Red Sea by means of camels. Reno de Chatillon was even succeeded to capture a Kaaba, having created thereby the base for attacks on Muslim shrines. Three of five big ships about half a year inspired fear and horror in inhabitants of Muslim possession. Salah al-Din, the governor of Syria and Egypt who declared to the state of Crusaders war immediately reacted to these actions. He swore to revenge and to kill with own hand with Reno di Chatelona. In the spring of 1183 deputy Salah of al-Din in Egypt constructed the ships and lowered them to the Red Sea. Sunni fleet. No more than 900 people. Of Reno di Chatelona was forced to come out of the water and to accept battle. Crusaders got beaten in three-day fight, each of them ceremony honor beheaded in the different cities of the Empire Salah ad -Din. In the fall of 1183 and at the end of summer of 1184 Salah al -Din tried to take the fortress of Reno di Chatelona, but both attempts were unsuccessful. So, in 1184, Salah al-Din surrounded the city and began a siege. Just at this time there took place on Freud for de Torona and Isabella Iris Gaius wedding, and after a number of the negotiations held with Salah al-Din, he graciously agreed not to attack that part of the lock where there took place the wedding ceremony, and focused on destruction of the rest of fortress. But soon Salah al-Din was forced to stop a siege because on help of Reno de Chatelona the army of his ally the King Balduin IV appeared in time. Whether at the end of 1186, whether at the beginning of 1187 Reno de Chatelon robbed again a rich Muslim caravan, the proceeds from which was card gold. There is an assumption that with a caravan the sister Salah of ad -Din, which was probably raped by 61-year Renault, could follow. Salah al-Din in return arranged on May 1, 1187 raid on Christian territories in Galilee. Everything went to decisive battle which took place at Hatton where the army of crusaders suffered crushing defeat. Salah al-Din generous allowed to leave to all captives who before were involved in battle except Reno di Chatelona which he with own hand beheaded. And his head was used in the propaganda purposes for a long time. It was carried on the Muslim cities to show to the people that the master keeps the word, and their worst enemy, the Prince Arnaud, is dead and won't return anymore.
After this fight Salah al-Din surrounded Krak di Moab again and after an eight-month siege stormed them in 1188. There are facts saying that during the siege, the soldiers defending the city sent their wives and children to slavery, in exchange for food. But after capitulation they received the relatives back from the generous winner who even allowed them to leave freely on the territory of Christians. It is impossible to claim, however, with confidence that the case with sale of wives and children really took place at Alcaric's siege. Quite probably, something similar occurred during a siege of Krak de Montreal which held on for several months longer and capitulated only in 1189. Also can quite be so that similar occurred at sieges of both fortresses. From these events process of gradual replacement of crusaders began with the Middle East by Muslims. Since 1188 the Kraklok, or al Karak soul nevermore also belonged to Crusaders and like many other fortresses in the Middle East which changed owners throughout all the 13th century. Some fortresses repeatedly passed from some hands into others. During board a Ubedav. Till 1263. And Mamelukes. Since 1263, the city became the capital of the territory of modern Jordan covering the most part, playing, at the same time, within two centuries, one of the central roles in domestic policy of the Middle East. From medieval sources it is known that, Ayubida changed a little and reconstructed the lock in the city. Later al karak became the capital of the whole kingdom of Mamluks when the Sultan ruling at the time and Nasser Ahmad transferred the capital from Cairo. But soon he was forced to hand over the powers. On al karak ate large attacks with the subsequent his sieges before his brother and the successor expert Saleh Ismail took fortress were carried out and I returned myself a royal title. During these sieges al karak received to be a sauna to be the first city in the Middle East which was subjected to firing from artillery powder pieces of Mamelukes. In 1263 the governor Mamluk of Babers of I expanded the lock and constructed new towers of the impressive sizes, the largest of which towered on a northwest corner of fortress. Also the entrance to the city was reconstructed and changed. At first sight the entrance wasn't at all as gate were removed. But it turned out that it was possible to enter the city only through underground pass which can be seen and now. There is a legend that Babers's death which occurred in 1277 is connected with other governor of al karak al -Kajiram. According to her babies as if with own hand gave to drink al Kaka the poison kumas from a bowl from which he on an oversight drank then also. In 1293 three surf towers were destroyed by an earthquake. For all the history al Karak it was besieged a huge number of times, and never up to the 19th century it managed to be taken by storm. In 1840 Ibrahim Pasha from Egypt took fortress al karak and destroyed the most part of her protective constructions. In 1868 in al karak Mohammed al mozali who participated in destruction of the Movitsky stone governed. In the 1888 years around al karak there were bloody battles between Muslims and Christians. Tranquility in the area managed to be restored only after introduction of many thousands Turkish army. In this regard in 1879-90 Catholic and Orthodox families were forced to leave al karak and to settle in Madhab and in Maine.
existence of deep ditches on northern and southern extremities of the lock ensured her big safety, but emergence of sophisticated devices, the throwing tools known as ballistas and trebuchets, meant that defending now couldn't feel safe during sieges. In the 19th century, with development of military technologies, use of guns and explosive means, defensive strengthenings of Alcaric become unnecessary. During later period Alcaric even more often becomes a shelter of rebels, and the lock was used as the venue of patrimonial councils. Since 1894, after establishment over this territory of the Turkish power, the Mamelukski Palace in Fortress was used as prison. The Great Arab Revolt put an end to the Turkish power over the city which officially stopped in 1918. After World War I Alcaric was as a part of the southern province of shortly existing Syrian Kingdom. After his falling Alcaric departed to the French, and in July, 1920 local tribes announced his independent region of the Arab state Moab. With Rafaith and Al-Mazali. At the head. In 1921 this territory becomes the Emirate of Transhordan. El Parak loses the defensive functions and the next 60, 65 years he becomes the agricultural center. In the 90s, the 20th century to El Parak interest starts over again being shown. In the 90s, El Parak begins to be positioned as the important tourist center of Jordan. And in 1999, by means of the USA, Around the city the Free Economic Zone was formed. These two events were an incitement to further development of the city. The Arab name al Parak comes from Aramaic language in which Karka means the city walled. But the root Arka meaning to surround fence wasn't peculiar to Aramaic language. At the time of ancient Rome, ancient Greece and blossoming of Byzantium the city was called Karakmoba. The fortress. Lock. No vision mentioned in Claudius Ptolemaeus' works. The middle of the second century ad. Quite possibly, the name Karakmoba was formed during the Persian period when Aramaic language was official language of governmental bodies. In the Bible, modern al Karak's territory is mentioned how the city of Moavishan, under names Cyrus, the prophet has Isaiah, Cyrus Cherry, the prophet has Jeremiah and the prophet has Isaiah, and Kirk Hershet. In the second book of kingdoms and the prophet has Isaiah, Cyrus is mentioned only once in the book by the prophet Isaiah where he is described in parallel with the Namer. By the Namer, according to some researchers, the Movatena designated area between the Wadi Mudship and Hass's Wadi. If there was designation of landscape area or region, but not city, then most likely that Cyrus was the capital of this region. Besides, in language, Cyrus meant city. According to other version, the city of Ayr Rabba. The ancient name Rabbit Moba. Could be the capital of this region. Kirkhair and Kirkhairshet were used together with the concept Moab, which is mentioned in Isaiah and Jeremiah's books. Thus, Kirkhair Kirkhairshet was the capital of the kingdom Moab. In books it is very little told about location of the city, therefore bigger about the history of the area scientists were told records of the King Mesh. According to them, Dibin. I was the capital of the kingdom Moab, at the time of his board. 
future capital of the kingdom Moab, Herk 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 Hershet, was located to the south from the Wadi Mudshib and both Al Karak and Arabah, therefore, both of them were capable to be called as Kirk Her. Kirk Hershet had similar situation and subsequently to be the capital. Only excavation around both settlements allowed to establish what Kirk Her. Kirk Hershet could mean the city in the Budi area. From the Arab. Wood. Al Parak is located in close proximity to the wadi of the same name, and there is a probability that slopes of the wadi could be covered with trees in those days. It is an additional argument in favor of the fact that Al Parak was the capital of the kingdom Moab. But this argument isn't enough for a categorical statement about the capital therefore as an additional argument in favor of al Karak serves his arrangement on the main tradeways of the Iron Age and the Roman Byzantine period while Irabi was from them at a distance. Fortress al Karak blew more than once the mind of travelers which had an opportunity to admire her. There is a set of short descriptions, notes, geographical sketches of travelers from the Arab countries and Europe. The famous Arab traveler and the wandering merchant of the 14th century Ibn Battuta was one of al Karak's visitors. During the unusual travel from North Africa to China, it decided to make a pilgrimage to places sacred for Muslims, Mecca and Medina. Ibn Battuta began the travel in Damascus, and the way passed it on the south through the territory of modern Jordan, on Karolovskaya Road, King S. Highway. In the records of 1326 he notes that pilgrims stopped at the village of al -Tanya. Located on the hill to the east from al Karak to buy food for a continuation of a campaign. From this place it was possible to see al Karak in all his beauty. Then pilgrims went to Fortress al Karak, which is one of the most known majestic and unapproachable fortresses. She is also called the Fortress of the Raven. There is a feeling that the city is surrounded with deep ditches from all directions. Still to the origin of the name, Fortress of the Raven, is truly unknown, but there are assumptions that in the name the Raven represented on an official stamp of the Governor of Crusaders and heads of Fortress of Reno de Chatelona is displayed. On his press the inscription which said the fact that Renault, the sovereign of the city of Petri and the image of the lock in El Carrick was located. The bird on an obverse of the press is considered a fantastic griffin. In 1994, 18.6 thousand inhabitants, in 1997, already 19 thousand people lived in the city, and in 2004, the number of inhabitants exceeded 20 thousand. The city now inhabits about 22.5 thousand inhabitants, and lives in El Karak's agglomeration about 68.8 thousand inhabitants. 2003 It is 31.5 percent of the population of the governorate of El Karak. The most part of residents Muslims, but are also representatives of Christian religion. In El Karak, the highest share of the population professing Christianity in Jordan is concentrated. Many of the Christian families living today in El Karak conduct the origin from Byzantines. According to some information, the population, concentrating in El Karak and at around him, totals about 170,000 people. Economy El Karak along with nine other cities is the special industrial zone of Jordan. In 1985 the government of Jordan allocated industrial zones. Uh, 
for formation of favorable conditions for development of infrastructure, the industry and attraction private, including foreign, the capital. A bit later, Jordan and the USA signed the agreement under which the goods made in the industrial zone, including in al -Karik. When performing a number of conditions, have an opportunity to be supplied to the market of the USA without payment of taxes and excises. The Al Hussein bin Abdullah II Industrial Estate Industrial Zone with the center in Al Karak was created in October. 1999 by means of Jordan Industrial Estates Corporation B2003 significant increase in export from the Alcaraca Industrial Zone was noted. In 2003 export made $100 million mines $75 million in 2002. For the first quarter of 2008 the number of again registered companies in this zone grew by 400%. The largest the enterprise, located directly in Al Karak, is Camel Textile International Corporation. Taiwan. And the Norway Apparel Limited. Which are engaged in tailoring and production of knitted products and clothes. The main sales market, the USA. For export, the Akaba Port. Jordan and Haifa port, Israel, are used. Both that another firm Camel Textile International Corporation cooperate with the known American companies, so delivers the products in Network Super and Fred Meyer Inc. Hypermarkets and the Norway Apparel Limited cooperates with the Jacques Morat Inc. Company. Also handicraft work of various consumer goods, souvenirs, etc. Household goods is widespread in the city. In Al Parak there is a small power plant, 24.5 million. It has one gas turbine and three diesel. This station mainly uses diesel fuel. The staff of the station totals only 10 people. In the territory of adjacent to Al Karak, the irrigated agriculture rather intensively develops. Here grow up mainly wheat and barley and also cultivation of an olive and grapes is locally widespread here. In the governorate of Al Karak, 150,000 minus 160,000 dunam of grain crops from which 90,000 dunam of the share of wheat are concentrated. In 2007, the governorates of Al Karak produced 7.388 tons of wheat. About 70% of the population are engaged in agriculture. In Al Karak, processing, processing and storage of grain, production of flour grinding and bakery products, their redistribution and realization is made. For steady providing agriculture with water tanks are constructed, and there is a water intake during the spring period from the Wadi Al Karak. All production in the city and nearby areas is aimed at providing with everything necessary the main sector of economy of Al Karak, the tourist sphere. Now in the city travel business actively develops and, first of all, tourists are attracted here by perfectly remained Fortress Al Karak. Tourists visit the city mainly on the way from Amman in Petra. And when the OED the number of tourists sharply increased and made more than 83,000 demand for the first half a year while in the first half of their 2007 there were about 56,000 people. Growth was more than 48%. In 2001 Al Karak took the fifth place in the list of the most visited places of Jordan. More than 84,000 people.
after Petra, Jerish, Mountains, Nevo, and Adaluna. Palator Robot. To the industrial sphere of Alparic of investment come, mainly, from the USA and Israel. It is connected, with existence in Alparic of the free industrial zone, the goods made in which, can be supplied to the market of the USA on preferential terms. One of conditions of granting such privileges, close cooperation with the Israeli companies is 7% of the cost of goods have to be produced in a free zone and not less than 8% of cost have to be created in Israel. Investments into the tourist sphere of al are carried out mainly by Japan. In 1999 the project for development of the tourist sphere in al was developed. His financing was undertaken by the Japanese bank, Japan Bank for International Cooperation. In total among various Japanese companies invested $4.6 million on restoration and reconstruction of fortress and reorganization of entrances to the lock. In 2004, Jordan and Japan in common developed the project for development of Fortress El Karak. According to which in El Karak a part of the lock will be reconstructed, repair of the bridge is carried out and introduction of the latest equipment. Audio and video units is carried out. Financing of this project will be carried out at the expense of a grant of the government of Japan. Sites. In Syria, Jordan, Lebanon and Israel only three fortresses surpassed al Karak in its sizes and grandeur. The lock of crusaders of Krak de Chevaliers, Krak de Chevaliers. Between the Syrian cities of Homs and Tartus. A Muslim citadel Aleppo and Damascus. Al Karak, one of examples of the fortress which incorporated features of planning and creation of defense of crusaders, Ayyubid and Mamluks. The plateau on which the old town is located was once everywhere surrounded with an extended protective wall. In corners and bends of a wall to provide the best review after the ways conducting to the city and for maintaining aim fire from tools, several towers were located, many of which remain still. Birds al Zahir, the biggest and massive tower located in a northwest part of the city. It was constructed by order of the Sultan of Mamluks Babers in 1260, 1277. On style she remains, located in the southern part of the lock, and in a form and outlines is similar on a tour. Birds al a tower in the southeast of the city which was built also by order of Babers. On the top part of a tower there are inscriptions speaking about its founder and an emblem on which the lions protecting an entrance meeting on a set of other constructions constructed by order of Babers are represented. In this regard many historians agree on opinion that it was his patrimonial coat of arms or an emblem. Birds al Sob, the tower located slightly to the northeast from Birds al Banavi's tower. It differs from all others in the appearance and existence of a parapet from a Mashikalyama, hinged loopholes. Historians still didn't determine date of the basis of this tower. Not less important role in defense of the city was played by his gate which exact number to determine it wasn't possible yet. So far in the city two entrances which are cut down in the rock remained. The first near a tower of Burz of Al Zahir and the second about Burz Al Sob's tower. 
date of construction of the second is still not known, and here an entrance at Burz al-Zahir has the inscription saying that it was constructed by order of the Sultan of Ayyubid al-Yazamiza in 1227. Entrances of a similar underground design were constructed because them was, whether easily, to protect as at the same time there could be a small number defending, and gate were quickly and easily blocked. Just walls, towers and gate of the city made his first line of defense. In case the opponent managed to break through protective fortifications and to get in the city, defenders and inhabitants could take refuge in the lock and maintain his long siege before arrival of a reinforcement or lifting the siege. During crusades quite often there were situations when crusaders broke to the city, having managed to break his first defensive line, but a citadel and city fortresses and remained unapproachable, and aggressors had to recede not to conduct military operations on several fronts while the siege proceeded. Builders of fortress wanted to sustain all defensive works in uniform style, but frequent blockade of the city demanded continuous updating, improvement and compliance to modern methods of conducting military operations at sieges. Directly in the city's Ampavaya Square where perfectly remained office buildings of the 19th century sustained in Ottoman style are adapted for ordinary houses, hotels, restaurants and cafe, the tourist centers with souvenir and other little shops today is located. Also about the lock, around a monument Salah to Addin, is the pedestrian zone where most restaurants and cafe is concentrated. The lock is in the southern part of the city. His construction began in 1142 and about 20 years lasted. For it the plateau of triangular shape. Length of 850 meters. Which is narrowed in the southern direction which is called Scala of the Desert, or Petra Deserti was allocated. El Paraca Crack de Mobates quite often mistakenly identify fortress with other fortress located absolutely in other place, though built approximately at the same time as Crack de Chevaliers. Hold so for the reason that from the most basis and up to 1271 he belonged to Brotherhood of Gospitalier Knights. The lock has about 220 meters in length, 125 meters in width in a northern part and 40 meters in width in the southern part where the narrow gorge turned into a wide ditch separates his neighboring, more sublime hill, once being a favorite position Salah of ad -Din for conducting gunfire. After the end of construction al karak at once became the capital of the Transjordanian Signoria, having selected this status at the weekend crack de Montreal. At Shubik, as he was called later. El Paracat is difficult to call Fortress Beautiful, first of all it represents an impressive sample of the military and architectural genius of Crusaders. Therefore the lock will be interesting to experts by the architectural delicacy and features of planning. Fortress in El Parak represents, first of all, similar to labyrinths, dark halls with the stone arches and a set of extended corridors. The halls and corridors of this time which remained best are underground, and anyone can get to them easily. The lock is divided by internal walls into two yards. All most important and the vital buildings, the residence of the governor, church, and later in the mosque built in the top yard. And the lower yard served as an additional barrier on the way of possible aggressors, the local Arab tribes and Mongols who came from Central Asia. Objects of the period of Crusaders 
main reached our days, elements of architecture of crusaders in El Carrick, the lower terrace in the western part and spot of the arch halls, to two floors, directly in a northern wall. The lower terrace provided defending the good review over all territory located in the valley. Wadi. And over east territories up to the Dead Sea. Arch holes were used as premises and stables and also as a shelter from shells of obsidional tools. With southern and from north side of the lock deep ditches, but gradually, for several centuries were dug, they were filled with various detrital material. Respectively in the lock, it was possible to pass only across the wooden suspension bridge. The entrance was small and narrow, and was located so that it was difficult to be noticed. The small entrance was under construction to complicate, or at least to slow down, advance of the attacking forces in the lock. The similar design with a small and imperceptible entrance, was characteristic of citadels of crusaders of the same period of construction. For convenience of tourists new pass in the western corner of a northern wall was made. In all Ilok Fatad the dark and negligent stone laying of crusaders of the late period can be distinguished from accurately laid blocks of lighter and soft limestone which was used by Arabs at the subsequent historical stages. The northern wall and the constructions of the half-ruined lock adjoining it just also belong by the time of government of crusaders that is approximately to the first 40 years of history of the lock. Also up to now, the chapel of crusaders at the top level of fortress remained. On sources of the 12th century, the governor al Karaka had the own priest who held services in this building though in the city there was also a cathedral. In the rock under the lock several floors of adits were dug, according to some information then there are seven pieces there. The entrance to vaults is closed, even lighting is still not carried up. Local guides to show to visitors existence of these underground floors, are forced to throw into a sexual hole the lit objects. More often the newspaper. Objects of the period of Muslims. The most important element of architecture of Muslims is, built in the southern part of fortress. Donzin is a separate tower, quadrangular or roundish in the plan, and put in the most inaccessible place. It served as a shelter during attack of the enemy. A northern part of a Donzin represents, be surrounded with rooms, inside patio serving probably the residence of the Mamuyukski Sultan Muhammad and Nasira which the rules al karakum from 1293 to 1294, 1299 for 1309, 1310 for 1341. It is known that the Sultan Muhammad and Nasser ordered to build the palace, hospital, parish, religious, school and the educational parade ground. The location of all these constructions can still be established, but there are assumptions that the palace could be located in the territory of the lock. It is known that, the Sultan used al Tariq as the residence to spend more time with nomad tribes of Bedouins of this region to which he even gave on training of the sun. Besides Adonson from objects of the Muslim period, it is possible to note also Mamelukski palace used by Turks at the end of the 19th century as prison. Museums The Karakski Archaeological Museum which was opened in 1980 in the old castle. He contains the fragments relating to the period. In the first millennium BB and to the subsequent periods. Nabateski, Roman, Byzantine, time of government of crusaders and Islamic dominion. 
The body of the museum is in the big hall of the vaulted cellar of the lock which in the period of Mamluks intended for quartering of military. To him. To the archaeological museum. The ladder which is cut down in a stone conducts. The museum has in the collection the exhibits found around al karak and Etafila and relating to the different periods from the Neolithic till the late Islamic period. They're available here and the objects found during archaeological excavations in Point of Women Asra, later become famous for the burials, belonging to a Bronze Age. From graves in Women Asra the remains of skeletons, clay objects and glasswares. The Byzantine period. Tools of times of the late Iron Age were taken from Busera and Nabateski tools from Rabi and Khazar. The second part of the museum was located in the western wing of the Loch in El Karak. Here too there are exhibits. Pottery, coins, etc. Of different eras, from the 6th millennium BB till 14th century AD. In 2004 the museum was reopened after restoration works. The Islamic Museum Mazar is in the town of Al Mazar, located near Al Karak. In the museum, there is a collection of the objects and exhibits a sculpture, ceramics, and coins, displaying a civilization, traditions, life, and the culture of the Islamic population. Also in al Mazari, it is possible to see graves of the respected and esteemed Prophet Muhammad's colleagues. Zayd ibn Harissa, Jafar ibn Abi Taliba and Abdullah ibn Ruvaki. The adopted son of the Prophet Muhammad and Vizatulchia Zayd ibn Harissa directed Muslim army in the Battle of Maq which is considered as the most important and fierce opposition which had been during lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad in 629 at between the joint Byzantine and Ghazanids the troops in Netherlands. Zayd ibn Harissa, only of associates of Prophet Muhammad who is called by name in the Holy Quran. The mausoleum of the Prophet Noah is directly in Al Karak. The Prophet Noah. Ake. Warn mankind about a God's future penalty for worship of idols, and I constructed the huge ark capable to wait a flood. Also, near the city there is his tomb. Suli Minar. Solomon's. Mausoleum, the Prophet and the Israelis are differing in due time in wisdom and piety. He is located in the town of Sarf, near Al Karak. The Mausoleum Zayd ibn Ali ibn al Hussein, the great great grandson Prophet Muhammad, knowledge which experience and wisdom describe as follows. Among us, he best knew the Holy Quran, had the most profound knowledge in the field of religion, and cared for the family most. Labama Imam Jafar, expert Sadiq. Education. In Al Karak, there is one of the largest higher education institutions of Jordan, which is called the University of Mouth. The university was founded on March 22, 1981 by the royal decree under which the institute had to train military and civil experts with the higher education. The first and main building of the university was built in the settlement of Muta, al Karak, located near where in 629 and there was a fight between Muslims and Byzantines. Fight at Mav in which Muslims got beaten. Many buildings of the university are scattered across the territory of the area. So the medical faculty is in 7 came from the main building, and the building of agricultural faculty is located in 25 came from the settlement of Mouth in rural areas.
Now at the university about 17,000 students study at 12 main faculties. The name of the university in honor of battle, as envisioned by organizers, had to reflect this significant event in Muslim history and symbolize its importance and value. Sport In the city there are two small football stadiums, each of which is designed for 1,000 viewers. al Tarek Field Prince Faisal bin Al Hussein Sports Complex where play amateur clubs. That Ras Muad Ker S Safi and Al Halalia Field Stadium of the soccer team of the University of Math. Ecology. Al Tarek's population and the settlements adjoining to him quite often suffers from high dust content in the city. Besides, the analysis of particles of dust and tests of the soil indicated the increased contents in them heavy metals. Lead, copper, zinc, nickel, iron, cadmium and manganese. In the metropolitan area of their content in air and the earth is much higher than in the territories surrounding Alcarc. Concentration of heavy metals in the soil was slightly higher than in dust samples. According to researchers, human activity, including the motor transport, or industrial activity in the free economic zone of al can be a source of air pollution and soils are also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.